Colossal teamed up with BioRescue to save the northern white rhino from extinction, which is incredible. There are they're functionally extinct, you know, due to poaching. There's literally only two females left in the world. Um, oh, crap, so dude. obviously, when you only have two females of anything, there is no hope for the future. There is no reproductive possibilities. Um, right. So the partnership between Colossal and BioRescue, uh, the whole point is to assess the genetic diversity in the historic samples of northern white rhino, you know, male, of course, and employ employ like genomic sequencing and gene editing to improve the genetic diversity and ultimately figure out a way to to add genetic diversity back into these females in embryonic stages and breed them and end up, you know, saving them from extinction. So, you know, yeah. the goal of restoring genetic diversity, this mitigates disease impacts, it addresses adaptability to climate change, all kinds of things for these animals. So it's it's a really, really exciting partnership. And it's it's great because it's the kind of thing Colossal, what they are doing is what they should be doing. But it's it, I think people associate Colossal with, oh, they're bringing back woolly mammoths. It's like, yes, but right. they're yes. a giant conservation biotech company. And like, this is a this one just happened to make headlines, which is great for them, but they're doing a lot of work like this. So this is a good like PR thing for them to be like, look, it's not just about mammoths. Like we're literally here going to save the northern white rhino. So it's good. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Really yeah, it's really, really. And good. there's only there's only what two two, two. males left. Two Didn't females. two female two just died? Oh, two females. Mm -hmm. And the male recently died just a couple years ago within the past five ten years or something. Like three or four years ago now. I remember when when he died. That was like it. That was like send off. And that was like species. devastating. It was big news. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. And that was it. That was send off to the species because it was like, all right, well, that's the last male gone. You know, um, 2018, yeah. Kyle put in the chat is when it happened. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah. Can I do a little quiz? I mean, Forrest, you're, you're an African. Yep. Well, you're, you're an American also, but you were born and raised in Africa. Peter. Yep. Yes. No Checks Googling. Both boxes. Born and raised in uh, Donruss Grove, Illinois. Kyle, can you pull up a picture of a white rhino, a Northern white, white rhino, please? Um, Peter. Yeah. Why is it called a white rhino? I'd like <laughs> you to look at the picture. Uh, I mean, it looks looks gray. I don't know. Why, why is it a, called a white rhino, rhino? Oh, dude, you know, that's really interesting because every time I visualize this in my head and even thinking about pictures I've looked at, I could have sworn that it was an albino rhino. Um, <laughs> an albino but, rhino. That's funny. Dude, that would I be don't... the name of our rock band. <laughs> dude you know i don't know i thought like because we have a picture up here where it looks very brown and golden but there's a picture where the the horn at least looks very well white hold on and, let's and do this gray. let's do this i might be able to help you slightly peter yes uh, that's a good idea another photo or maybe pull up northern versus or sorry white versus black rhino because those are the two kinds uh, and then okay, might, okay. maybe 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 if you look at the faces you'll be able to tell them apart so it looks like there may be uh, mm. the white rhino has a longer forehead, the black rhino a shorter forehead. I don't know why what that has to do with it. No, it just says that in the picture. I have no idea. <laughs> Tell me, please. I'm dying to know. Do you know? Do you know the answer, Patrick? I I, I do. I do oh, know okay. the answer of why it's called a white rhino. You don't speak fluent Afrikaans, do you, Forrest? No, no, I don't speak any Afrikaans other than a couple casual greetings. Do you happen to know the word in Afrikaans for? White, wide, vide, vide. Yep. So vide, which means wide, was miss. They just called the animal vide, vide rhino because it was a big. Yeah, it was a big fucking wide. Yeah, it's got a big wide uh, vide lip, rhino. Yeah, right. It's the lip that makes it different. Correct. Yeah, the face. So I think then, it's the face, but definitely around the mouth. Gotcha. Yeah, there you go. See that vide rhino. So that's that's so, so, <laughs> like I'm German. But wait, so are you literally telling me that? Vide just translated to white rhino. No, English Europeans came in and misinterpreted what they were calling it and thought they were calling it a white rhino. This is this is a wide, a wide rhino. See the mouth mouthpieces of the black versus the white rhino. See how the yes. mouth is much wider. That's a wide Dude. rhino, aka white rhino. 